Right, okay, good afternoon everybody. It is Tuesday the 20th of September 2022. Um, I'm back over at Bramley Moor Dock to do my midweek uh, video with the voiceover where we, we go through some of the comments or questions that people have, have placed on my recent Bramley Moor Dock videos and, and have a look um, at specific areas rather than doing the, the full site, which is what I do on um, Sunday mornings. Um, so I'll just turn you around to have a quick look. Looking from where they've made that dip in the wall there um looking right the way across at the site you'll see i'm not right outside but i'll head down towards there now um so yeah so what we're going to look at today um i'm going to look at the uh, there's a couple of things um first one i'll put these up on the screen now whilst i'm reading them out on my phone first one's from ian g um who says a brilliant video there, Mr. Drone. Always look forward to watching them. The build is looking really good, almost connected all the way around. Now, I always stop the video and take some screenshots. Something in my eye. Um, sorry. Um, to have a closer look. Loads of interesting stuff on the ground at 2 minutes 50. Looks like on the south stand side there are two concrete bases, which I'm guessing will be for the support structures for the roof. Got to watch this road. I'm normally here first thing in the morning and forget it's busy when I'm here now. Anyway, um, and also on the north stand side, somebody mentioned in another comment that there are grey steel tubes being added to the trusses on the containers. If you zoom in on a screenshot, you can see them there. Loads of concrete tears on the ground to be installed, some steel rakers and a wall panel. So looking good and loads more to go into. So, so we're talking about um, a couple of um, concrete bases on the south side, south stand side and the north stand side. Um, which we'll we'll take a look at. Um, he's guessing they'll be for support structures for the roof. We'll have a look at that. I'll have a look. Thanks, Ian G. We'll have a look. Um, next one, Paul uh, Lavat. Great video. Looking forward to getting these updates. A huge 600 ton capacity crawler crane will be arriving soon to lift in the roof trusses. The trusses will be assembled on top of the containers um, and the white steel tying them together. All starting soon. And then um, Leonard Dawes replies saying, "Looks like they've started assembly of the roof trusses on the north set containers." Um, they are grey, so hard to see. So we'll look at that. Um, the roof trusses already started being built on those containers. I'll have a look at that. Um, the next one, so Dennis Cartwright. Dennis, I actually picked out one of his comments last time. There's no favouritism, I assure you. Um, just, I just go through and pick them out. But Dennis has said, um, another fantastic video. Thanks again, Steve, for spotting the flag. I started that myself. Okay, it was Dennis that asked about the flag. Great shot of the whole ground with the sunrise. I wonder why the north and south stands don't come down to pitch level yet. I assume for building the roof. I'll have a look at that. Um, and then lastly, there's a, a message from a Jim Lightfoot. I understand when they cleaned out the Bramley Moor dock, they found a number of World War II bombs in there. Does anyone know if they've con combed the Nelson dock for similar objects? Not trying to worry anyone, but it does seem a bit of a silly oversight if they haven't cleaned it out. And I love these videos. Um, um, keep them up. So yeah. I'll have a look. I'll have a look at all of them. I'm going to get the drone in the air now, and I'll address each one of them. So let's get up there. Um, just to reiterate, um, it is about 4 p.m. on a Tuesday afternoon, so I will be staying well away from the site perimeter and area. Okay. Um, Everton and Langer Rock have asked us to steer clear of the site perimeter, and that's exactly what I'll do. So I'll be using the zoo. Okay. Let's get up there. Right, guys. So we'll get straight up in the air. Um, get it up kind of as quick as I can because it's it's busy um, as you can see I'm, I'm well outside the perimeter it's very bright as well god I've just looked up and it is bright I mean it is it's looking absolutely outstanding um, the sight isn't it I say this every time I'm here but honestly it's so impressive um, Right, okay, so we're up to... ...80 metres there, okay. Um, first one first one I'm going to address, because I can actually do it from here, is Dennis Cartwright. So I'll just bring it up um, again, where Dennis says, Another fantastic video. Thanks, Mr. Steve, for spotting the flag. I started that myself. Great reveal shot of the whole ground, the sunrise. I wonder why the north and south stands don't come down to pitch level yet. I assume to allow for building the roof. So, just have a look what, what Dennis is, is actually looking at there. So we're gonna look at the, the south stand here. We're gonna zoom in, and you see exactly what, what Dennis means. So it's like the, the west stand, which is straight, uh, straight ahead of us 
there at the at the top by the Mersey um, you can see they've started from the bottom um, same with the east which is which is right down here in front of us because um, they're concrete superstructures building up from the ground but the south um, stand there and the north which is um, opposite which we'll have a look at I can see exactly what what Dennis means they've they've left the it's not come down to ground level um, and I don't know why that is but I have had a look at the um, the the initial um, kind of illustration that, that it was the one that ran through really quickly um, showing the build progress um, and it is it it really is the, almost the last thing they do if it looks like the roof is on everything so I'm just panning around to the to the north stand and you'll see it's the same um, it's funny looking at it, isn't it because the north stand seems to be slower now than the than the south getting the terrace on whereas it was the the north stand that flew up quicker initially so yeah Dennis although I can't exactly answer I'm just have a look at what what you you talk about Dennis to, to show everyone so we we'll see the north stand you know you can see the terracing coming on um, higher up but it's not down to actual ground level pitch level um, any of the build on the north and south so I know exactly what what Dennis means there um, but like I say when I've looked at the illustration and gone over it again the Lango Rock one from the beginning um, it is the, almost the last thing uh, the roof and everything's on um, I might share in fact I'll share a little illustration I'll, I'll freeze frame I'll have free fra freeze framed the thing I'm looking I was referring to and put it here now so you'll see like the roof is is almost on and everything and those uh, those bottom sections are not filled in so to answer it almost I don't know the actual answer why but you know they don't those uh, bottom sections on the north and south do not um, do not get get filled in uh, be, get completed by you know until until the very end right um, what we're going to do now if I come right out um, we are going to have a look at uh, we're going to cover E and G so I'm going to put his uh, post up now so we'll nip down to exactly where it says I always stop the video and take some screenshots have a closer look those are interesting stuff on the ground at 250 so I'm going to put my my shot here I've freeze framed my, my last video and here it is at 2 minutes 50 looks like on the south stand and the side there are two concrete bases which I'm guessing will be for the support structures for the roof um, so here's my um, freeze frame at 250 of my last video and you can see two concrete um, two concrete bases there in front of the south stand so I'm going to, to take a trip round there now to, to have a look Do you know I've just realised it possibly would have been easier to see if I will have gone the other way nevertheless we're gonna take a look no I can think we can see them I just may um, I may go higher some of these just slow down there in a silver focus and had a real good look at me that gave me a smile but not sure if that was you let me know <laughs> Right, so I'm going up high here, we're 100 plus metres here, and what we'll do, we'll go in, I am angled, so, right, so here we are, this is the south stand we're above, I'm going to zoom in now, and I believe I believe here means these there's one to the right so there it looks like there's a few concrete bases there actually Ian and yeah like 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 Ian did say as well there's a lot of uh, materials in and around the site on the floor so is that is that what you mean in those those concrete bases I'm gonna highlight them now um, if I get across I'm gonna highlight them there um, are they are those what you mean let's let's uh, pan up as well are there some in front of the north stand I can't see any in front of the north stand if I'm completely honest or is it what the those two cranes are sitting on 
the the yellow or orange crane and the red crane see I'm unsure about ones in front of the the north stand I definitely know what you mean with the with the concrete bases there in front of the south stand though as we can see there and you know while we're here we'll take a take a look down at that south stand hey I am outside the perimeter guys just want to reassure anyone that I'm that I'm outside but yeah Ian is, is that what you meant um, with them hopefully hopefully I've pointed out in if anybody knows what they're for please please let us know um, Ian assumes um, that they are where does he say um, he's guessing there'll be support structures for the roof so if anybody knows any different let us know he's also said that they're um, somebody mentioned another comment they are let me see um, Oh right, okay. I'll tell you what. Uh, I've just sorry. I'm just looking at the the message again. So Leonard Dawes replied saying, "There are some on the north side, but they've got red and white barriers around them at the moment." I see. Yes, I've got them now. Can you see them? Thanks very much for that, Leonard. Um, yeah, I can definitely see them there now. So yeah, guys. Um, any idea? Please let me know. Um, whilst we're here. One of the next things is, um, Paul Lovitz said, um, great video, um, huge 600 ton capacity crawler crane will be arriving soon um, to lift the roof trusses. The trusses will be assembled on top of the containers. And then Leonard said, looks like they've started the assembly of the roof trusses on the north set of containers already. So I've left the shot there because we can see clearly that, um, that that north, the ones closest to the north stand, there's definitely a um, roof truss assembly started there looking at the south stand one cannot see any but there's definitely gray steels around the the white steels on the the one closest to the north um isn't there so so yeah they've definitely started guys i need to zoom out and bring my uh bring my drone back in battery give me one second okay guys so sorry about that i've just got back up into a to a central position there 55 meters up um so we were looking at uh, Paul Lovett and, and Leonard Dawes um, comments regarding the the roof truss on the north stand being built. You can see it clearly from here. Um, zooming in there, it might lose a little bit of the um, of the picture quality um, on the zoom. It's just one of those things, unfortunately. Um, so that's that is the north stand um, truss there where we can see there is they are building it already um, so yeah great spot um, great spot Paul and Leonard and um, a couple of others have mentioned it as well so I, I can't bring up all, all your comments guys but keep commenting um, obviously because you know I, I do run through all of them and try and try and respond and try and um, you know get get to get to some the, the, some of the comments that are bringing up like different points in in a uh, noticing different things um, what was next what was next here let's let's move out we'll keep an eye on those uh those roof trusses in the in the center of course um just zooming back out there we go so next jim lightfoot now this is a bit of a different one because it doesn't really maybe sorry i'm just moving around with the drone it doesn't um necessarily talk about anything regarding the actual build um but it says I understand when they cleaned out the Bromley Moor dock, they found a number of World War II bombs in there. Yes, I believe they did as well, um, Jim. I, I believe that's true. Um, does anyone know if they've combed the Nelson dock for similar objects? I'm not trying to warn anyone, but it does seem a bit of a silly oversight if they haven't cleaned it out. Cleaned it out. Anyway, I love these videos, by the way. Keep them up or keep them coming. Um, so, let's just have a look to our to our left there. So that's Nelson dock, um, and the next one along is Collingwood dock. So Nelson dock there it's it's a good point to be fair isn't it um you know if there's any unexploded bombs in there um world war ii bombs then the stadium is very close um but i don't know if that would be a problem um if they if they were to explode underwater or or what i just don't know i i honestly don't know 
um, assuming that it would cause an issue, of course. But I don't, I don't know. Um, can any? Does anybody know um, anything about that? Has anybody got any expertise? Tell you what, let's. If I zoom out, because um, I did zoom in there to Nelson Dock. If I just take us across to have a look. at how close that Nelson Dock is there, the back. See, it is, it's very close. But, like I say, I just, I just don't know if that is going to cause a big problem or not. Um, excellent question, to be honest with you, Jim. Really good question. Um, anybody know that? Please, um, please comment, let us know. Um, so, yeah. That pretty much covers um, everything that I was going to um, talk about today. Right, everyone, there you go. So um, that's the end of that one. I'm going to keep this really short because those those videos I do with the voiceovers just go so quick um, when you're up in the air talking. And I don't know how long it was. I will by now, but I don't know how long it was because I had to bring the drone down halfway through, so I couldn't keep an eye on the time. Um, it was split into almost. Anyway, um, guys. We covered, we had a look at the um, concrete bases um, that Ian asked about. Um, we had a look at the um, roof, um, the roof truss, the North Stand roof truss. Um, that's, sorry, I need to go back to have a look at that about it. Uh, Paul Lovett, I think it was, and Leonard Dorr uh, put a response on. We had a look at Nelson Dock that um, Jim Lightfoot asked about. So yeah, guys, I concrete bases are definitely there we just had a look at them see where they were we seen on the north stand they are there as well they just got the the red and white um, border around them um, the north stand roof truss definitely started um, building that haven't they putting that together and then we've got the um, Nelson dock did they did they comb it did they did they search it before before starting work before doing this I don't know, I'd love to know that. Um, be good to know the answer to that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, any questions um, about the site itself, anything you notice, any comments, anything you want me to look at, please do comment down below and let me know. I do go through them. I will look to get to it. Um, and I, I will look to get here and just, just have a look because uh, these midweek ones, I want to look specifically at specific points of the build. Um, because the weekend ones are where I go around the entire site to have a look. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe. If you want to buy me a beer, you can do so here. Um, if you liked it, take care, everyone. Bye now.